So the purpose of today's video is to derive a moment generating function for a normally distributed variable y. Okay, to do so, obviously we have to take expectation uh, of the function e to the power dx, and taking expectations means take this function and multiply it by the density, probability density function of uh, this variable. So here is a normal normal variable, so therefore this is the PDF of a normal normally distributed variable, okay? And you obviously ev evaluate this integral uh, with respect to x. Well, good luck. Go ahead and have fun solving this integral. I won't be doing this because there is a far easier way to derive the moment generating function of the normal distribution. Um, once we just recall that we already derived the moment generating function of the standard normal variable in the previous video, okay? And because we already derived the moment generating function of the standardly, standard normal variable, we can use these three points, we can use basically the key result of moment generating function in point three to get our MGF for the normal variable. Let's recall, uh, recall briefly what this uh, kind of key result is saying. So say you've got a variable x, and then you define a new variable, you shift it by a constant a, and you scale it by constant b. Well, the moment generating function of this new variable y will be the same as the moment generating function of the uh, uh, variable x, with t replaced with bt, and there's this extra bit here in front, which is e to the power of at. Okay, so let's recall what was the moment generating function of the standard normal variable. Well, it was uh, e to the power of um, half times t squared, okay? So that's what it was. And if you remember what I, what I told you about uh, how we get from x to y, well, we got from x to y by saying mu plus del, uh, so, um, sigma x equals y, okay? So mu here is our a, and sigma here will be our constant b, okay? So we have a perfect example or on how we can use this key result of moment generating function to find the MGF for normal when we have the NG MGF of standard normal here, okay? Okay, so let's do it. It should take us a few seconds. Right, MGF of Y, which is our normal variable, equals EAT times MX, MGF of uh, standard normal, uh, times BT. Well, I just repeat this result here, and now I'm gonna re replace A and B with the corresponding um, variables of interest, sorry, constant of interest, i.e. mu and sigma. So I'll write e mu t, okay, because mu is a, and mx b is sigma, so b, uh, sigma t, okay? So that was easy, and now the last bit is e mu t, times, okay, what's the MGF of X? Well, this was here, here, so I'll put E, one, two, and here, and here we have to concentrate hard. We, we said that we'll replace T with BT, so that's exactly what we'll do. We'll just do BT squared, okay? Which is the same as EUT times E, Okay, one half b squared times t squared, which is the same as e u e u t times one half. Oh, sorry, plus one half b squared t squared. Okay, that's it. We hear this. Our moment generating function for the normal variable derived in less than one minute using the key property, property here in point three of the moment generating functions, okay? I hope I convinced you, you can very easily derive moment generating functions of um, transformed variables. So once you have the moment generating function for your original variable and you know what kind of transformation this original variable 
uh, has been subjected to you can actually derive easily the moment generating function of the of the new variable and of course I rushed ahead just uh, let's replace B by Sigma yeah because um, it should be Sigma so it's it's gonna be Sigma squared here and Sigma squared here okay there we go okay now let's exercise because the reason why we actually derive moment generating function is to get moments out of it okay so num point number four uh, let's do a little exercise it says calculate the first two moments of normal and standard normal um, variables using their MGFs and show that X variable X is distributed normally with the um, mean 0 and variance 1 and show that variable y is distributed as a far uh, with mean mu and variance sigma squared okay let's start with standard normal so here's the uh, MGF for standard normal to get the first moment e of x sometimes written as uh, mu uh, prime 1 we have to take derivative first derivative so just we take the, the differentiate f once with respect to t okay and we then evaluate that t equals 0 so what's the derivative of this exponential function well uh, you first take the derivative of this okay and you, and you plug it here which we've done uh, so derivative of t squared times half is just 2 times 1 half times t well this reduces to 1 and then times e to the uh, power of 1 half uh, times t squared so now uh, we have to still evaluate it at t equals 0 so it again I repeat the same same thing here I just uh, reduced this this bit to 1 okay and then uh, I evaluate t equals 0 so if I replace this t with 0 and this t with 0 well I'm going to get 0 here 0 here so 0 over all, overall so the first moment of the standard normal distribution is uh, 0 now what's the second moment well second moment all we have to do is differentiate this term once more to get the second derivative that's how we get moments out of uh, MGFs yeah we differentiate so if we differentiate twice we'll get the second moment so then uh, we use here uh, product rule which says if you have a function of this type okay we, actually you can break it down in two functions then you take derivative of the first function and times by the second function and you then leave the first function uh, alone don't do any, anything to it and take derivative of the second function okay so that's what we've done uh, yet again we evaluate t equals 0 and what do we get well if we replace uh, this with 0 we will get e to uh, so 1 to the power of uh, 1 times e to the power of 0 which is 1 okay plus 0 because uh, the moment we replace t here with 0 this whole thing will just drop uh, drop out so we have uh, 1 times 1 which is 1 okay so the second moment of the standard normal is 1 okay so what's the variance well variance is nothing but second moment minus first moment squared second moment uh, is basically 1 that's the second moment here uh, first moment squared was 0 squared so it's 0 so we proved here that the variance of a variable which is standard normally distributed is 1 therefore we've pr proved that uh, you know uh, our x is distributed as a normal variable with mean 0 and variance 1 okay time for a variable which is n a normally distributed so this is the MGF for a var variable which is uh, normally distributed not standard normally but normally you will notice here mu appears and sigma squared appears here okay so yet again first moment is just the first derivative of this whole expression evaluated t equals zero well this will give you this um, yet again uh, it's very easy to, to, to kind of uh, derive this expression you just take the, the differentiate once okay so if you differentiate once uh, with respect to t then you have to take derivative of the power first okay and plug it over here so what's the derivative of the power with respect to t well this will become 1 and this will become 2t okay so that's what we have here and then this reduces to that 
obviously the reason why this reduces to that is because we replace d with 0 so mu times e to the power of 0 is just mu times 1 and then what's going to happen here is that we've got sigma squared times 0 times e to the power of 1 well this is because when we replace t with 0 here this whole thing this whole thing will drop to 0 yeah we just will become 0 so overall we ended up just with this bit which is mu okay now uh, what's the second row moment well you have to apply product rule and now I will leave you to it because it's just standard differentiation you should know it by now uh, all that to say when you differentiate this with uh, sorry with respect to T this uh, this expression here second time okay you just differentiate it one more time you will find out that this is uh, sigma squared plus uh, mu squared and now what's variance? Well variance is just the second moment minus the first moment squared so it's uh, sigma squared plus mu squared okay it comes from here minus mu squared which we derived over here and obviously this the mu is cancelled out and we are uh, left with sigma squared therefore we yet again we prove that y uh, is a variable which is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared okay this proves the result and I hope I managed to convince you that there is no need for um, you know solving these integrals for deriving moment generating functions if you have already a base case scenario and you know that this uh, the difference between your original variable and uh, the transform variable is kind of some kind of linear combination of the original plus um, some constant um, a okay if that is the case you can use these this key property here in th the three to basically derive more generating functions of uh, transformed variables thanks